Professor Samuel from St. Paul's Secondary School, Kirita, and I'm one of the beneficiaries of TAISA organization. In TAISA, we have many virtues, and out of them is virtue of respect. Out of this virtue of respect, it has enabled me to become one of the student leader, and I'm the, I'm the school governor of St. Paul's, and also I participated in student conference, which I enabled to become one of the best to present the Transoya East and also Transoya County in student conference, which was held in Nairobi, and this is because of the respect that I gained out of this organization. I thank a lot, and out of this, I'm a person who will enable my society also to become with to become and produce more people who have respect. Would you please tell us uh, how you have demonstrated uh, teamwork uh, at the organization level? In uh, the organization, uh, teamwork has been enhanced by sharing duties and responsibilities among the staff members, right from the director to the volunteer or to the beneficiaries. And this has really helped us in uh, doing the community work at the organization and many other things to achieve our set goals and objectives. In addition to what my colleague has said, uh, uh, we have also, like me as a person, I work also in a soccer academy in Ivasha. At the moment I'm there, there's also uh, some of my, my colleagues who are also doing uh, the tasks that I'm supposed to do. So we are actually uh, promoting that in our organization level and uh, uh, despite I'm not around, uh, what I'm supposed to do is also done by other uh, uh, staffs that uh, are in within organization. So I can say that uh, teamwork, uh, the spirit of teamwork is very, very important because uh, we can achieve and uh, go far with what we want to, to get in our organization. Teamwork has really helped us as an organization and uh, personally as an individual because uh, whenever there is an event or an activity, you can tell who is the director, who is the manager, who are the frontiers and who are the beneficiaries. We all work as a team wherever there is an event. We work as a team wherever there is a job that is supposed to be done. And uh, that one has kept us moving and strongly as an organization we have impressed, impressed that. And we are really very happy because if an organization doesn't work as a team, then there is nowhere you can go. Time management. As an organization, we have really embraced that, and I believe that we are one of the organizations uh, which doesn't uh, uh, despair anybody in terms of time. And one of the most important ones was actually about the, the time management. It was very important that each one of us, and especially myself, manages time. And we realized time is very important. Just the, the way you can play a game for 45 minutes, why not 50? It means then you work within 50 or 45 minutes to, to win or, or lose a game. Meaning everything you, I, I do now, I realize I have to you know, put time as a factor. And that uh, has also helped us in the organization. Because now in Taisa we also agreed that we'll have to manage the time. If you come late to our program, you know, nobody will wait for you. If you come when the children are playing in the field and you want to play, you'll be left out, sit on the bench, and do other tasks that relate to that. That has enabled us as an organization to be very disciplined. Two, the community where we work, we have influenced that community through time management. It's only in our community that the community members can come for a meeting because they know the start time is 9 and the end time is 10, 10.30. After 10.30, the meeting is closed. Those are long days where you will have a community meeting taking the whole day, moving from left to right, people coming late, those who came early are complaining, those who have come early are late, they are saying, oh, we need more information. We have disciplined our community to manage time. So that is one of the key lessons that I picked from the uh, KSDP under the VABS, the value-based approach to, uh, to sports and community development. And then the other thing that is very, very crucial, especially for me, is tolerance. In 2008, there was a post-election college in Kenya, and I was one of the young people that who went to the IDP camp. 
but through tolerance and meeting with the organization, doing small games in the camp, we managed to, uh, to bring young people together and even make them uh, busy and try to remove some trauma. And this is, has really uh, made me and even the organization very strong. And uh, to, to continue with the tolerance, this has, made, has seen me grow from where I was in 2008 to date as a program manager. This has really been strong and has made me even me manage in doing my diploma in okay. community development and social. Now my children are on the program and they are working very hard in the classes workers. I'm very proud of it as the parents and wish all these discusses first of course to continue that. Thank I wish they could start to continue that spirit. Thank you very much. My name is Agri Lungao, the teacher in charge of Taisa Youth Group that went to the East African Cup in Moshi, Tanzania, where we demonstrated the best fair play uh, team from entire East Africa, and we managed to win the fair play award. Thanks to the coach and thanks to Taisa Center for giving me a chance and the youth to go and interact with other youth in East Africa. My name is Kelly Onguso and I'm very happy that we went in the East Africa Cup 2013 Moshi, Tanzania. I was very glad because we won, we won the, tro the trophy of fair play in the, in the East Africa 2013. One, I'm very happy that Chaisa embraced the value of fair play and this year 2013, the year 2013 we managed to scoop the fair play trophy for our organization for the under 13 boys. The boys went to the East Africa Cup in Moshi, Tanzania, and they managed to display all the values that we have been training them. The value of effort, the value of teamwork, the value of uh, tolerance, uh, the value of fair play was one of the dominating. And we managed, especially after undergoing the training through the value based sports where, under the Kenneth BP program. As an organization, we are very, very proud of it. My name is Francis Wasare, senior elder in the village. I'm trained on the principles of the children in the community. That's enough to train for the conflicts of solving the problems. When there is a problem in the field, we all, I, I, I as a captain, I always call the other captain so that you can help each other to solve the, the issue. We agree and then we continue. <laughs> Oh, can you take a moment and I'll